in general, I take a stock through my quality checklist from top to bottom. It forces me to be consistent. It forces me to think through everything. And even if the score at the bottom spits out like a perfect number, that doesn't mean it's going to be a great investment. That just means that according to the checklist that I have developed in its current form, it scores well. And in general, I think taking a company through this checklist and buying the companies that score the best increases my odds of success and decreases my odds of un unsuccess. Now, with all that in mind, one company that scores very well that I've been buying continuously for the last year or so is Fiverr. A uh, ticker symbol there is FVRR. This is a company that is in the online um, a freelance space. So you, as, uh, you can go on to Fiverr and you can hire somebody to do almost any digital job that you can think of. They have hundreds of categories and they're adding more uh, all the time. Conversely, if you are a freelancer with skills, you can go on Fiverr and sell your skills to thousands of companies across across the world. When I look at this company, I think the financials are, are fantastic. I think it's built a moat for itself. I think it has a tremendous growth runway. It has recurring revenue. It is its, um, its customers are very dependent on the platform. I really like the management team. The stock has been a, a winner uh, over the long term. And it, it uh, has very few of the gauntlet, the risks that really bust a thesis for me. For example, there's no customer concentration risk. Now, if you look at this stock, over the last say six months it hasn't been a pleasant stock to hold it's been going down but if you look at the stock since ipo which was only in 2018 or 2019 it's been a massive massive winner so this is a four or five billion dollar company today and i could see if this company is successful it being a 40 or 50 billion dollar company so one stock that i like a lot is fiber i love it I own it too. Uh, and I, I have to say, I bought it when it pulled back. So I waited for the pullback, which is not necessarily a good thing following your advice, but it's, it's, an, it's an excellent, um, excellent company. Thank you for that.